In today's video, I tested a bunch of viral myths from the internet. From a secret passage in the cemetery, to admin commands, and I've even made the band avatar of Brookhaven. This is my avatar. It's pretty simple skin, I would say. Nothing much. Now if we go over to the avatar editor, and click on this model right here, I'll now become a very buff Nando. But in any way, it's simple skin still. But this video actually shows us Brookhaven's band avatar. Look at him using it right there. It seems normal, but whenever it walks, you'll see just how weird it is. I'm serious. It's so spooky that it even scares some players and makes them run away. But how would I make that avatar and use it in this game? To do that, I got into this game and I'm with this skin for some reason. I really don't know. But in this game, there's tons of avatars that other people made that you can try out. Like this funny little roach. Look at how it walks. And there's even ones that send chills down my spine. These are all great, but we're looking for the exact one from that video. It took me some time, but I found it. I'm not sure if it is this one, but it does look like it. Now we just gotta get it for ourselves. And for that, we do need to use a bunch of Robux. All right, but it also here I am back in Brookhaven, just needing to update my skin. So let me just get that going for us. And there we go. Here we are with Brookhaven's banned skin. So will they do anything about that? Well, I'm here playing on a public server with other players just jumping here. There's more people here at spawn. Why don't we see what they think of my avatar? What's up, guys? Do you think I'm pretty? Yes! No, you're actually really ugly. You should even be banned forever from Brookhaven. Whoa! That came out of nowhere. I'm just a lanky little guy. Just trying to make some friends. Get out of here, you horrid creature. Dude, calm down. You don't have to do this to me. She's got a gun. I better get out of here. These people don't want anything to do with me. An axe? Why are you still chasing me around? Stop this, please. I think I need to quit the game. They aren't leaving me alone. I'm back to my original self, but I'm not sure if it was a good idea to use that band skin anymore. But let's have a look at some other videos. Maybe there's something interesting. In this video, he's showing admin commands in Brookhaven. Right now, he gets a house and uses slash house 12 fire. And then the house literally starts to burn. Dude, if this works, it's something that I have never seen before. Let's try the command in this house right there. That for some reason has a bunch of toy houses around it. That's weird. But if this works, I'm gonna be a literal god inside of Brookhaven. We can also see the owner right there. He seems to be watching some television. Wait, I just realized that this guy doesn't have a body? Is he just a head? How is that even possible? Whoa, he got up and he's coming towards me. Hey, I saw you with those binoculars. What do you think you're doing? I wasn't doing anything, sir. I was just walking around. You should go away. I'm a hacker and I ain't afraid of hacking you. Dude, calm down. You don't have to do that to me. I think I'm far enough now. So we literally found a hacker in Brookhaven? That's perfect, though, since we still want to test that command and he's a good victim for it. Maybe that'll teach him a thing or two. All right, so let's do this thing already. We need to be in front of the house. Open up the chat and write slash house 22, which is this house. And lastly, fire. Just send that and wait a little bit. Whoa! What's going on? It's best I get away from here. I didn't think so much would happen. At least it worked. That house is fully toast. The hacker's coming out. He actually doesn't have a body. Is he coming towards me? Let me hide the binoculars quick. What just happened to my house? Did you burn it in the name of vengeance? What? What are you talking about? Why would I do that? You're gonna get what you deserve. Gotta run! I don't want to see what he's trying to do at all. Okay, now we're really far from the hacker and his house that's on fire. Now, what would you say if I told you this was all a troll? And this didn't actually happen. To do that fire thing is actually really easy. You just need to find the house's control panel. Click on the disaster controls, which gives us quite a range of options. And one of them is that fire that pulses out of the house. Look at how much smoke appears inside it now. It's like it's burning from the ground up. This isn't even stoppable, by the way. No extinguisher is able to do anything about it. So with that said, the command to start a fire in someone's house is false. Let's just keep watching his video then. He also shows a slash green sky command that as the name says, makes the sky green. This also doesn't make any sense at all. First, let me write it in chat for you guys to see. You can send it as much as you want, but nothing happens when that command is written. The sky is still as blue as it always is. The actual way to turn the sky green is to have a private Brookhaven server that costs 100 Robux. Whenever you're inside of it, you'll have this new secret option. And here's where the magic happens. You now have this whole control panel. Now if we click on this button right here, the sky will turn green and all weird just like in the video. You 
could even do a horror series with this in the background. It's so spooky. His last command is slash darkness, and it makes everything around him really dark, making it a lot scarier than just with the sky. If you guessed it, that's another private server option. But let's still test it. Let's get a little slash darkness in here. It should have turned really dark around me. But as you can see, nothing happened. Now if we look in our private server controls, you'll find a little darkness button. And clicking it will give us that same effect as in the video, making everything a lot scarier. Even if you get a flashlight, it won't help you that much, just so you understand how dark it gets. I won't be able to play Brookhaven like this. It's starting to give me chills. What did you do to Brookhaven? I didn't do anything, little rat. I'm just testing some stuff. I know it's a test, but I'm not really a little rat. What do you mean by that? Whoa! Run. Get away from me. What did you do to my rat friend? I can't believe that I thought it was our rat boy, and it was that creepy clown. Let me leave this game. I'll feel better that way. Log back into a public server with these people. Everything is back to normal and not scary at all. The clown doesn't seem to be in here. Wait! I just saw him. I gotta run as far away from here as possible. Can you give me a ride, dude? Please just go as far as you can. We got some pretty good distance, since spawn is all the way over there. Guess we can go back to watching these TikToks now. This one shows us a secret. He goes to the cemetery and goes into that coffin we know. When out of nowhere he's taken to this gigantic dark cave out of nowhere. That even spooked me a bit. Can that be true? Let's discover if it's true by going to the cemetery. I do doubt that it works since I've never seen a cave like that inside of this game. Here are all the graves this place has. They're pretty interesting. Like this one written let me out now. But the scariest one is this open grave that I'm not sure if someone came out of is gonna go into it. The one we need to go into is that one. But before doing that I'm gonna grab a flashlight. And a camera too. Just in case I need it. All right, let's jump into it. Whoa, where even am I? I can't believe we're actually in the cave from the video. Two paths? I'll just take left and see where we'll be. Hello? Is anyone out here? Please tell me if you are. Wait, where am I now? Who's this girl? Are you good? We gotta get out of here already. You should do the same, buddy. Why are there pieces of wood thrown around the ground? Who broke all of this? There's something on the ground. An axe? What am I gonna use this for? What do we have here? Whoa, what's that thing? Oh, it's just a spider. Please just let me make my way, spiders. I mean, no harm. This place is so dark. Oh, is that just a skeleton on the floor? I just want to get out of here. At least I found a battery for the flashlight. There's so many of these around. Whoa, what's that thing? Dude, it actually got me. How did that spook me so much? And of course, guys, that's another fake one if you didn't realize. I literally just joined another game called The Maze. Our objective was to get out of that cave place, so that video was completely fake and I trolled you guys again. If you get yourself a house plot and put a fire truck on top of it, now try to grab a gun and the fire hose at the same time. Until you get it bugged in like that. Then finally get yourself a house. You'll now have done the water gun glitch. And that was only one of all the myths I'll be trying out today. Look at this TikTok. This guy can literally fly around the whole map with his horse. To do that he goes to the arcade and puts the horse on top of the motorcycle. Then he waits a bit until it bugs out. Finally he gets on top of it and just teleports to another housing plot. With that done, he can now fly around with his horse. That seems like an old video. I hope it still works. First, we'll grab our little horse friend and let's go to the arcade and start this bug out. We need to put it on top of the motorcycle, so let me try to do that. Does that look like it worked? He doesn't look to be on top of it. It just looks like he's looming above it. Maybe if we do it like this? This is a lot more complicated than I thought. I tried a bunch of times to get it to work, but that means that we now know this bug did or doesn't work any longer nowadays. A horse bug that I know still works has to do with this hero car. All you need to do is take the car to the back of it and you'll start doing these huge jumps. You don't really fly, but you can go really high. I think our car disappeared. Wait, it's right here on top of the gym. How? Now I'm thinking if we're able to drive with it here. I got into the pilot seat, but it doesn't really go anywhere from here. If we use our horse to do it may work. Let me see if it helps it get out of here. No, we can't do much about it really. Can't Yes, it's stuck in here forever now. I want to try to do that same bug in front of other players' homes now. Maybe we can get it stuck into their house. But the direction that it jumps to isn't going towards the house. Maybe if we try to put the horse in the other direction? Whoa! Why are you talking my car away? Stop that! Look out, neighbor! There's a car on your ceiling! It actually worked out, guys. It was all the way up there before they deleted it. This is quite a fun bug indeed. The next one is actually a bit scary. If you try to get into this mansion at midnight in Brookhaven, you'll find all kinds of spooky ghosts. 
Here we go. Let's see if there's really anything to be afraid of here. Right now, everything seems okay. Nothing out of the ordinary. There's no one inside the bedrooms or even the bathroom. I know the safe should be around here. Whoa! What's all this? Why is there a skeleton in here? Let's look at the safe then. Is anything weird going on here? Ghost, where are you? Wait! What's this skeleton doing? It looks like whoever tried to rob it ended up like this. <laughs> it's best that I make my way out of here. Whoa! Is that the ghost that they told me about? It actually exists. Run, Nando! Run until no ghost can get to you. This time of the night is the worst for that kind of spooky stuff. The video on screen shows a way to fly by only using a C4. She literally just walks and she starts floating like there's no tomorrow. I think it's another oldie. So let's see if it works. All right. The first thing we need to do is the hurt animation. Just like that. Then we go into our inventory to grab the C4 right above us. For some reason, we can't place it above us every time it just goes beside me. Even if I place it right it goes below me, which shouldn't be what happens. To fix that issue, I had a brilliant idea. I got my second account here, the little cow. She's gonna be the one that'll place the C4 above me. Let me just get ready for it. Now you can do the thing, little cow. All right, let's see. Whoa, it worked. I can't believe it. We almost flew, little cow. Now you know what to do. Place it right in the middle. This is actually awesome. I really thought it wouldn't work. Do it again then. Oh, that didn't work. There we go. Let's try it out again. Look at us go. So every time I click the W key, we start floating up into the air. But after a few, the C4 just disappears and it stops. Still, it worked out as a charm. It's nice to see that even an old bug can still work sometimes. The next secret we'll be testing out is with these basketballs. There's a nice little feature where the balls actually float in the water. Let me just throw it over there. Wait, why isn't it floating? It's actually just falling into it now. It's not a fully metal ball or anything. This thing should just float. Yes, Brookhaven isn't that realistic in the end. Let's see if the football can work for this, though. I'll just kick into it. And indeed, it just sinks down like it's a rock. What if we do it inside the fountain? They still sink? Are you serious? What about the lake? Does it happen here, too? Please tell me this works. It really just sinks into any water. Look at it there. For our next secret, we'll need the yellow house. You probably already know about the secret passage in the library. It just takes you down into this very weird-looking secret meeting room. The secret here will need you to hold the notebook and sit on each of these chairs. After that's done, you'll see a button glowing on top of this pillar. Just click on that. Now on this corner, you can go down into another secret room. It's even more mysterious with a lonely notebook on a table. There's a message written on it, but you can also click the back and hear this weird sound. And doing that will let us find a room with a lot less gravity. For that, we go to the gas station. Right beside the food mart, there's a secret passage to an agency bunker. Now turn the lights off and continue into it. Click on this blue screen and it'll ask for a password. That one will be Marcus Brookhaven. The password will be approved and you'll finally find the strange room I told you about. You can even sit on one of these chairs and just stay upside down. We literally have a room where gravity is an option. Everyone already knows about the ocean that was recently added into the game. There's even boats we can use. In this case, I just got a shark. With it, you can swim all around here as well as get yourself a home in any of these islands. If we go to the end of it, you'll you'll find there's an invisible barrier. You can try to jump it all you want, but you won't be able to go through it. There's a myth saying that if we go full speed into the wall, we'll be able to access a secret room in Brookhaven. For that, we grab the jet ski. All we need to do is get it as fast as we can be with turbo and everything. Our jet ski is a speed fee now. Are we actually going to do this? Three, two, one, let's go. Well, that didn't work out as expected. We can still try it with something bigger. Maybe the yacht at Lake Madison will do something something to it, even more at max speed, since it's a lot bigger and heavier than the jet ski. Will it be able to destroy the barrier? No, that didn't work out. This is gonna be our final test. The shark is a good specimen. Its shark teeth may be able to break it. So let's make this guy as fast as possible. Just look at it go. It's so fast. I hope this one works. This is actually our last try on this. Dude, it flew up so high. But sadly, that one doesn't work at all. Since those ones didn't work, we'll do something different. We're gonna get a bit serious. Inside our military base, we have these buttons over here. That opens this hatch up and lets us get a whole jet. It's a lot cooler and faster than the police's helicopter. Helicopter. Maybe with it, we'll finally be able to cross the barrier at the end of the ocean. Already, let's get right in front of it. Here we go. Let's see. Whoa, it bugged a lot, but we actually got through it. Now, what would happen if we tried jumping on top of it? Sadly, most didn't work, but we were still able to get on top of the barrier. 
which is cool. You can even see that it stretches until the end if I use click to move to the other side of it. Now we'll need this exact house here. It has something unique that no other really has, which is this. We can actually click on the windows to open them up. And with that, you can just jump out of it whenever you want. It works with all of them. Any of these are fully openable. That isn't the only house though. This one also has the same thing. Like the other, you just click and it'll open up to you just like that. With that, we can defenestrate ourselves easily. Those are the only two houses you can do that in. No other has the feature. In this video, he wants to show us how to have a water gun in Brookhaven. I've actually never seen anything like this. First, we get a housing plot for us. Then we choose the gun we want to use for it. That's the one he chose. After that, he grabs a fire truck. Now he puts it right on top of the housing plot. Then he bugs the fire hose so he can hold it with the gun. And finally, he gets himself a home and the truck disappears. With that done, he can now use a water gun in Brookhaven. He both shoots bullets and water at the same time. I've never seen anything like this. I really hope it works out. All right, let's start by getting ourselves a plot. Then we can just choose a gun for from our inventory. I think I'll grab one of these and then click on these gear icons. Here we'll have a larger array of guns we can get. I think I'm gonna go for this one. Gun in hand, everything looks good. We can now get our little fire truck and place it right above the plot. There we go. All we need to do is try to bug the hose and the gun together. This may take a while. I'll just do it until it finally works out. It worked. Look at that. This is how it should look for the bug to work. They'll both be on top of each other. All we need to do now is spawn a house into the plot any of them. I'll grab that one and let's see. Dude! The truck actually disappeared like the video. I still have them both on my hand. Every time I shoot will now spew tons of water as well. I can't believe this actually worked. This is crazy! Right behind me you'll find this portal. And every time I get into it we'll be going into realistic Brookhaven. Seems like the machine worked. Here's our Brookhaven. Why is it all misty and stuff? What happened to these traffic lights? Even sparks are coming out of it. There's a lot of broken things on the ground. This is really weird. Everything here seems broken. Whoa! Who's this guy lying on the ground over here? What even happened to this guy? I ain't staying around to find that out. This should be a realistic game, but it feels more scary than that. The portal has to be malfunctioning in some way. It didn't take us where we wanted to go. Come on, portal. Give me what I want. Here we are in another Brookhaven, and just look at that sky. It's realistic. Guess the portal did work in the end. Looks like we started with a taser in hand, as well as a water bottle for hydration. We also have the public pool full of realistic water. It looks really nice. Even better than the original Brookhaven. It's not working correctly though. It isn't uniform at all inside the pool. Here at the police station we have some uniforms that you just can't wear. I click but nothing happens. At least they still have police cars and these ones we can drive around. Look at that. This car looks really damn good. There's a whole amusement park in here. That's cool. But can we actually ride around in it? I've been to some that didn't make a good impression. Let me see if I can just go into this cool one. Just stop for a moment. Oh gosh, that's so dangerous. It didn't stop, but I made my way in anyway. This is kind of fun, but it gets old real quick. We got some ambulances here and new trucks over at the fire station, which are also pretty realistic. We can even turn these lights on. This one's actually really nice. That was pretty nice portal, but it wasn't as realistic as I wanted it to. Don't let me down. Wait, where even am I? And why am I all square now? That doesn't make any sense. But I guess we have some cool cars to try out over here. I don't know much about cars, but this thing feels fast. Let's go around the city and see what's up. Apparently, it's exactly the same, but it has a bunch of new vehicles. There are tons of awesome cars here, though. The neighborhoods are stacked with cool homes. They even have some buildings. Looks like we even have an abandoned one to boot. This place is weird. Even the stairs are all run down. This place has become quite a mess. Maybe we shouldn't be there for long. Let's go on our way. Let me grab our car again and see the amusement park that they also have here. The biggest problem is that it's floating in the air. How am I supposed to get up there? Here we have a realistic house, as well as another that isn't up to par if I'm honest. Look at these trees. It's not even close to real life. Inside it's a pretty simple place. Look at the size of this damn TV. They don't even make these anymore. Alright, Portal. Now it's your time to shine with the best realistic Brookhaven map in the world. Give it to me. Finally. Looks like the Portal hurt us after all. Just look at this house. It looks so good. The ground, the plants, I bet the inside will be too. Yes, it's all realistic and beautiful. Well, maybe some stuff isn't really. The map as a whole is pretty nice still. You can just see it from here. There's mountains over there. I've never seen that. They even have a helicopter that hopefully can fly around. It 
actually can. This gives it some points in my book. Apparently, it also shoots. This is kind of dangerous. Are there some players I can? Whoa! I jumped out of it by accident. Come back here, Chopper. I need you. Seems like that didn't work out as I wanted. I'll just grab another one since the other is just done for. Here's Lake Madison. Apparently, we got a whole new yacht. Give me a moment to see if we can pilot it. No, nope, we can't even sit on the pilot seat in this jump. Please don't leave me here, Chopper Boy. Wait, it's going up by itself. Come back here. Guess we're gonna have to walk the rest of the way. There's a whole mansion in here. They have cool cars as well as their own helicopter. Awesome. Let me see if it's good inside as well. Whoa, this place is so nice. It should totally exist in the original. I really like it. Wait, Dragonite Auto Venera? And for zero oh. Robux? I can't begin to understand what that is. That was for sure one of the best. Let's go back in case we can find any better. Here we go. This does look like a Brookhaven map already. Look at the fountain. There's realistic water coming out of it. Or just some, I should say. This one's just static. We got picnic benches. A bunch of them, in fact. As well as some beach chairs to enjoy the pool with. That's cool, but this water right here just goes against all the realism. What about Brookhaven's mall? Is there anything new? Wait a minute. Is this a whole new grocery store? Dude! Look at all the realistic snacks on the shelves. This looks so different from something you find in the original. What about on the second floor? Anything new? Apparently not. It mostly stayed the same, I guess. Now, if we look at the vehicles, what do we have? Some just seem to be totally unusable. But this car we can get here for completely free at least. I think it was premium once. Whoa! What just happened? If I'm not mistaken, this house is premium as well in Brookhaven. And inside this game, you can just choose it free of charge. So let me build this bad girl up. What about the colors? Can we do anything about that? Looks like we can't, sadly. That's mostly it, though. The exact same house, but without needing to pay. Going down this road, you'll find even more stuff on the map. There's this place called Dino that I've never seen before. With tons of new stuff you can buy. Whoa! There's someone just using a yacht in the ocean. Wait, so we can sail around here? The one he has is normally premium, but let's see if we can spawn it. Does it not? Whoa! It actually appeared. Now we gotta be able to sail around with it, right? Dude, this thing just works. This is awesome. What if we tried taking it to land? Nope, invisible wall. The other guy was going this way before. Did he end up anywhere? Nope, he just disappeared. Let me just go into the police station and climb up to get a helicopter. You can even see that the premium logo is right there since you normally need it. This game's different though. Just click it in. Wait, why isn't it showing up? Oh, probably because someone's using it. They're right above the school. Here's the ice cream shop where we have a little noob just hanging out. The salon looks as empty as ever. Even the items in our inventory are the exact same as the original and they actually work as normal. Look at the ladder right here. We can just use it. It's nice to see a game with all mechanics working fine. Maybe that one gets the cake for the most realistic one now. I still need one more though. Take me to an even better one portal. Just logged into it and... Whoa! What's that thing? There's a tornado going around Brookhaven and destroying everything. It must have malfunctioned again and taken me somewhere weird. Nothing gets in its way. It's ravaging everything it passes. Everything over here was just practically deleted. It's dangerous just how close I'm getting to it. Dude! It's ruining everything. It's all flying up into it. Where did they even go after that? All I know is that it's hungry. Let's just go slowly beside it just to be careful. The whole town is destroyed already. Please take me back. Whoa! What even was that portal? Why would you ever take me to a world with a tornado? I want a realistic map. Just give that to me already. It took me to this one now. And it does look pretty different. The grocery store looks kind of weird. We even have a whole new mountain on the other side now. The airport has been turned into a donut shop. Sadly, we can't really grab any. So what's the point? Beyond that, it mostly looks like the original. Wait, what's all this up here? There's some billboards that are all rusty and dirty. There's an abandoned cinema, a car shop, as well as this little building with Huggy Wuggy's face on it. What even is this? If we go to the other side, there's even more to this map, which takes us to a whole new airport. There's tons of really nice looking planes. I'm not sure if we can fly on any of them though. Found a way into this one. We gotta be able to pilot it then. Let me get on the pilot seat. Now how do I control one of these things? I've never done that, and apparently no other works, so that's all we have. I'm gonna be showing the location of the safe in the new houses in Brookhaven. I even showed a bunch of secrets that they hide
hide from us. We're gonna be starting the video by looking at these newly added homes. Let's just go right into this place then. Whoa, what's going on? It's on fire. Oh gosh, this shouldn't be happening. Come one extinguisher, help me out. I don't know why this even happened. Who could have done this? What about upstairs? Seems like there's even more up here. I think there's just this bedroom left. Whoa, who's that guy? I came to help you put out the fire. Help? I bet it was you the one that put fire to my house. At least it looks like we put it all out. There's no room that's still on fire after that. Now the safe of this place is pretty simple. First we go over to the bathroom of the main bedroom. As we get in here you'll see there's this secluded toilet. It may look like a regular toilet to do your necessities. But if you sit down on it and then look back at the bathroom, you'll find the safe right behind this secret door. You have to be fast though. The wall closes back up in very little time. Let me just do this again then. Now we can finally mess around with our safe. Now if you're inside and the wall closes in on you, there's still this glowing button that as you click opens it back up for you to get out. That was only our first save. We'll now be looking at the premium house we got in the same new update. Differently from the other, the garage is on the left instead of the right. Here's where the magic happens. This one also looks kind of like the one we were just in. It has the same coloration and details, but it's still a lot bigger than it. At least I think so. It also comes with its own pool. Can there be any secret passages inside this pool? Apparently not. The safe of this place you'll be able to find upstairs. You may think you'd find it in the closet, but that's not where it is at all. I don't judge, since most houses are like that. It's quite different, and I think you'd like it. First, we come to the stairs. Right now, they look pretty normal. If you look up from here, you'll see a place you can click. And as you do, an elevator will come down and take us up into this attic where you'll find your safe just waiting for us. We also have a secret passage right behind it. It's a nice little nook to hide from the owner of the place. You can even go further to find even another one of these. This one's probably not a real secret room, but just a little bugged out part of his house we accidentally got. In any way, we do have a pretty secure safe in this house. If we go back to the other house, by which I mean the free one from this new update, where we can sit on the toilet to open up the safe's room. I'm not sure if you knew, but there's another house that works the same way to get it safe, which is the Apocalypse Shelter. You can probably imagine why it has its name. It really looks like a zombie shelter from some movie. You can see that just by the door. Just look at how reinforced and metal it is. Even the walls of this place are made of spare parts. We got metal, wood, even some cardboard if need be. There's also this small room that I still don't know what to use this for. The most important part of it is the bunker we can go down into. It's an awesome underground place that you can change to things like a laboratory. And with it, you're gonna have a whole research facility down here. That isn't what matters though. What I really want to know is where the safe of this place is. As I told you before, it's just like the house from before where you need to sit down on a toilet. Here is no different. We need to sit on the toilet of this outhouse and as we get out of it and come over to this side, you'll find a secret passage that takes you to the safe. But if you take too long, it'll be blocked again and you won't be able to get out. And just like the other one, we can click a blinking button if that happens and we'll be able to go out after that, just like that other house. That's kind of a weird connection to have between them, right? These are the only houses we can do this in, the shelter in that new house. In this video, he's showing us the most hidden safe of all the houses in the game. He's comparing them all, but he says the best one is in this mansion right here, which is this big one over here. This place is really nice, so that's nice to know. If we go downstairs into the indoor gym, we'll find it right behind this wall. But to open it up, we actually need to do some push-ups on this thing here. With that, the passage has opened, and there we go. Here's where we'll find that safe. That may look like the safest one in all of the game, but for me, the safest one is right here at the farmhouse. The farmhouse has a pretty small house compared to the others. There's just a bathroom next to the kitchen and living room. And if we go over to this side of it by jumping on these roofs, we can jump into it and we'll find this secret passage on the ceiling of the house. That's not what makes it safe, like I said, though. The thing is that you actually need a whole shovel to get the safe. As you have it in your hand, you need to go right beneath this water tower. Now, if you do this digging animation in the right place, we'll be teleported into this hole beneath the house. And here is where you'll find that delicious safe full of money. You must be asking how we should get out of here since there's nothing around. For that, you need to use the shovel again, but on this little dirt mound up here. Whenever you find the right place, you'll be teleported back up again. That one may be good, but there may be another recent one that wins that, which would be inside of the new hacker house. This place is quite secure, since it doesn't even really have an entrance. It does have this one, but it's also fairly secret. This may just look like a garage, but it isn't as simple as that. If we continue down into this elevator, we'll find ourselves inside of this whole
whole hacker base. There's also a cool secret we can do with this blue card right here. If we take it all the way to this bathroom, we'll be able to swipe it here and find a secret hacker room with an incredible computer setup that must be from the owner of this house. We can also get a ladder in here and do a few jumps to find this scary looking secret location. You can even go through one of these walls and find yourself below that whole garage we have. Ain't that cool? There's also another secret room over here where we can look at where the elevator is. That's not really what I wanted to show you though. We now need to get to the safe that's a lot more secure than the other house. To do this we need to go into these giant secret tunnels. It's a literal labyrinth where it's sometimes hard to even find yourself. If you don't know where you're going, you're for sure gonna get confused and lost. The safe is inside this labyrinth though. We just need to find this part right here. In here you'll be able to click on something at the top of the wall and as you do another secret passage will open. And if you continue going further down this corridor you'll find the safe at the end waiting for you. With that said we can probably say that's the safest one you'll find in all of Brookhaven. That isn't the safest house of them all. Wait what are you talking about? I know it's that one. This is the most secure home. Wait are you talking about the yellow house? But I thought this place didn't even have a safe. It's for sure full of secrets and stuff like that. But I'm not sure about that. That's exactly why it's the safest of them all. I guess that makes sense. How are you gonna steal from it if there's no safe? Some people still try to say that it has a secret safe inside of it. But no matter how much I use my camera, I can't find one anywhere. There's rumors saying that it once stood inside this wall, but it has since been removed from the game. We can't find anything over here though. I do know that there's a secret passage in the pool where we just need to place a bed over here. As we do that we go through the wall and find ourselves in this bizarre looking secret room. I'm not sure if this was made on purpose or totally by mistake, but it's for sure a really weird place we have in the game. Since we're talking about no safe houses, the rocket is another one of these. I'm not kidding. I've gone up and down inside this rocket and I really couldn't find a safe nowhere at all. Even if we use the camera to look everywhere inside, you won't be able to find even a sliver of a safe in here. All we have is this room with the core of the ship, but it still hides something a lot more sinister inside of it. If we take our camera all the way beneath it, you'll actually be able to find this thing. You'll see what looks like a light and a medical bed just hidden down here. You can even compare it to the ones we find in the hospital. It'll look even more like a surgical bed. Wait! I think I just found a pizzeria. Apparently it closes at midnight and opens at 7 a.m. Sadly it's already 2 a.m. inside of Brookhaven. So that place gotta be closed by now. This is what I call a secret switch. And if I pull it like this, I'll find myself in the back rooms of Brookhaven. There's a lot of stuff in here, like planes, Mr. Brookhaven, and even the agency's secret base. That was only one of the secret places I'll be showing in today's video. The first one I'm gonna show is at the airport. This place has been here a while, so this one's an oldie. Just go right into the airplane like this. You'll find a secret passage right here in the restrooms. Oh no! We caught someone in the middle of using it. In any way, it's right behind the toilet. You can just jump right into it. It's pretty cramped up. There's not much room in there, but I guess it's still a nice hiding space. The next one you probably already know, but I still have to include it because it's still really cool. In the cemetery right in front of this tombstone, you'll find a fake floor with a whole coffin right there. Now if you go into the second floor of the hospital through the broken window, go into this room and you'll find an agency paper that burns as you click it. After that, go into the library and jump on top of these shelves. Then you'll be able to grab this secret red book. You can now go to Brookhaven's museum. Here you just use the book on this empty display. And with that you'll make a ghost show up right here. If you didn't know about that, this guy is actually the creator of the agency. Let's go back to the cemetery since if we go right behind that same tombstone, you'll find a little message only after you've done this secret. Creator of the agency. We can even have a closer look into that coffin and we'll find an agency symbol on one of the sides. That means that the creator of the agency isn't even with us any longer. He's probably here in this coffin. If you click it, you'll even hear sounds of someone trying to get out of it. For our next secret location, we'll need a whole secret key. You'll be able to find it right next to the barn. Just go to the end of the fence right over here where this brown rectangle is. The only problem is that it's buried underground and we'll need to dig it out of there. So go and grab yourself a shovel and just start digging like your life depended on it. Almost forgot. It also needs to be 6 a.m. in Brookhaven for that. While I'm digging, you'll see a bunch of comments from the subs passing through your screen. And if you want to show up on the next one comment, a dog emoji. While we're on this topic, I actually have something to tell all of you. I want each one of you to stop what you're doing right now and go vote on Nando at iBest. I'm basically competing to be the best games content creator of Brazil. I already voted. Just like
like that. I want to see everyone voting because if I get first, I'll be giving away a bunch of Robux to you guys. All you need to do is click on the link pinned on the comments below. Now let's go back to finding some secret places around Brookhaven. After a little while of digging, you'll start hearing crow sounds in the game, which is weird since there's no crows in Brookhaven. I've never even really seen any birds. It even shows up on the fence after a while. That makes him a secret animal, but I also got the key. It's really a green card. Since we already got all that we need to grab a notebook now. After a little bit, this message from the agency will show up on the screen. The book needs you to follow it in everything. It knows what is best and you do not. Follow it blindly and do exactly what it says. Agency. So we actually got contacted by the agency. It's also telling us to follow a book blindly? What does that even mean? Maybe they're talking about that red book we got in the library? Now if we go here beside the food mart, you'll find this secret passage with an agency bunker in it. You probably already know this place, but we can now use this secret card inside this here. Pay attention to the message up here. It seems like we got an error 823. And if we grab the card and use it on this thing, you'll hear a sound and it'll turn blue. It should have worked. And to confirm it, that message will also change. As you can see, it's written key card accepted. Then if you look beneath this thing, you'll find an orange button. That is, you click it. Well, apparently nothing happens. Something should have happened. I'm not sure what to do now. So if anyone in the comments can help me out, I would love to know. This mansion has recently been added to the game. Because of that, most people don't know where it's safe is yet. It's quite simple, really. You just need to click this golden statue, and you'll be teleported straight to the safe. Then just click the button above, and you'll be teleported back up. Brookhaven Bank actually hides some places from us. Our first one is right beside the bank's own sign. To go into it, we just need to place a bed on this wall and lie on it. When you do that, you'll find yourself in this bizarre corridor. Something very interesting we can find inside here is the backside of the ATM machine. Just look at how bugged he really is from here. To get out, you just do the same trick, but from the inside out. For the next secret place, we'll need this light green card. It's the one that lets you get right next to the vault. Now just grab a C4 and blow it to smithereens. With that, you've opened up the bank's vault. The secret place I'm talking about is right above this room. With a bed, we can find this room with a low ceiling. I'm not sure if this was on purpose or a bug, but I still find it quite interesting. What would happen if I place a bed on top of this place now? Will it take us to the back rooms? The next secret place I'll be showing is the most secret of them all. To find it, you need to go behind the airport next to this ramp right here. You'll just need to get a bed right over here on this exact corner of the ramp. Because if you place it wrong, you may see it, but won't be able to get into it. And this is how this place looks. It's like a secret nook you can hide yourself in the map. This this place is so secret that I'm having trouble getting into it. I tried a bunch, but nothing seems to work. Good luck to anyone trying to go in there. You can tell me in the comments if that worked out for you. And explain it to me as well. For this one, we'll need an apartment. Not only that, but a penthouse one at that. We need to grab this one. The skate shop. The secret place isn't on the inside, but on the roof with this skate park. If we go and place a bed right on the side of this one. As we lie on it, you'll find yourself in this weird little room. Look at that. Beyond that, we can also just walk into this wall over here, which is the easier way into it, really. There's three more secret places. One at the police station, one beneath Brookhaven's arches, and another on Mr. Brookhaven's abandoned house. One little problem, though. All of those are locked up right now, and I can't get into them. To unlock those, it's simple. Let's go back into that secret agency bunker. In here, we'll need to click some buttons. Just light all of these things up. You can practically say that they open each one of those passages. We can start at the police station, where before there was nothing, but now we have a small room with a film reel that I can explain later on. All that you need to know is the code written on it. Now if we go back to the arch, we'll finally be able to get into this place. Here we'll find another film reel in this very weird room. And at Mr. Brookhaven's house, we'll find this thing open now where it wasn't before. With even another one of those film reels here. If you don't know anything about those, I'll explain it right now. For those, we'll go into the mall and straight into the cinema. Go into it and then into the projector room. At this inner code, will be able to input something, which is the code on the reels we found. I'll place the first one here and let's see it on the big screen. Each of the reels tell a story inside our lovely town. The first one tells Mr. Brookhaven's story and how he was being hunted by the agency. The second one shows us how the city grew and how Mr. Brookhaven built it himself. The third one is the life story of Mr. Brookhaven, where he lived and all he did to finally found his town. It's also where he found the crystals that are a part of a bunch of this city's mysteries. Those are all 
always cool if you want to get into the town's history. Inside this mountain, there's a secret passage. And here we can find a bunch of secrets hidden by the agency. Now if we click on this blue screen and input Marcus Brookhaven, you'll be able to open this room up with a scary looking place. That is only one of the bunches of secrets I'll be showing you guys today. The first thing that it makes sense to show you guys is the start of the game. You probably know the title screen already. You normally can't move here at all. But if you're playing on the computer, just press the Q key. You'll be able to walk around on the title screen as if you're already playing. It does look a bit buggy though. Look at our camera shaking and stuff like that. You can even see it continue spinning as normal. Something interesting is that you are still able to use Roblox emotes while on here. Look at me dance right now. We'll continue our secrets now over at the mysterious fire station. It's a pretty well known one, so I call it an easy secret. If you grab a ladder and climb on top of it to jump to the ceiling, you're already able to see a little secret passage just beyond your reach. But it really isn't. You can just jump over here and you'll find this very weird room, which is the roof part of the station. But it's basically just a room made from the objects. It's nothing the creators hid with reason. For sure you already know the weird second floor of St. Luke's Hospital. It seems like this place was used to do a bunch of experiments. And of course the agency seems to be blamed for it. There is a crazy secret where if we go into this room and click on this paper right here it'll start burning. Now with that done we can go over to these chairs. One of them has some broken glass on the feet. If you sit on one where it had an experimental sign we'll now have a big line of code which is very weird. We also have a little table for surgical equipment where some updates ago you could find a bright green syringe. We sadly don't have it anymore. That isn't only on the second but on the first floor too. This table had one on it too. And as we said before, it has since been deleted from the game. If we go into an older version of this map, you'll be able to find the syringe still there. Look at that! Not only up there, but down here as well. This one was blue. We still don't know for sure the reason they deleted it though. This yellow house is well known by other players. One of the reasons is that it's one of the first homes. But it also has this basement part with a whole library on it, where you can even find a little secret hiding place if you ever need to. That's an easy secret though. Nothing Nothing much. The real secret is right on this shelf because there's a button right here that opens up a secret door. Then that lets us go down into an even stranger room. It looks like a meeting room and I can bet the agency has something to do with it. Here is where the notebook secret happens. First you grab it in your hands and now you sit on each of the chairs one by one until the screen turns red. There we go. Not only did the screensaver change but we have a connected message which means that our secret seems to be working. To confirm that you just go up to this pillar and look up. There you'll find a glowing button that you can actually click on. You may think nothing changed, but if we go to this corner of the room, we'll be able to go down into another room. A secret room where you'll find this notebook right here. It has a very scary message as well as a picture of an FBI agent, which was probably the owner of the notebook. That isn't the only thing this place is hiding, because if you look closer on that notebook, you'll see that you can click behind it. And as you do that, a weird sound will chime like we activated something. Now it's time to go back to the gas station. Right beside the food mart you'll find a secret passage in the mountain. Even this place right here belongs to the agency. This is all so crazy and the connection it has to it is quite strong. Here we'll be able to click on this blue screen and it'll prompt for a password. Just write Marcus Brookhaven on it. If you wrote it right the password will be approved. That should open a secret passage over here. But why is it closed right now? Let me get the password there again to see if that changes anything. No, nope, the secret passage is still nowhere to be found. Guess I'll have to do that secret all over again. Give me a moment. All right, all we need to do now is write this name again. Dude, why isn't this working? I figured it out, guys. It's kind of weird, but we need to do the secret while the lights are turned off. If we don't have that, it would never work. Now look at this room. This place is kind of scary to me. It looks like some sort of anti-gravity experiment. We can literally sit upside down. It's bizarre. A cool secret to know is how to get all these cool particles inside the game. I've even made a video about a bunch of secret items you could get. To do that, you're gonna need to go into the avatar editor. And here at the Roblox catalog ID, you'll put this code right here. That one will give you this awesome head that burns blue. Some players not in the know may even think you're a hacker. For the one I showed before you, just go to the hair section of the avatar and write flaming. With that, you'll find the first hair that shows up to you. There we go. We now have both blue and red flames coming out of us. The coolest thing about it is that it looks like you actually have premium since your car will look like it's burning. For another cool secret, we're gonna need a second player to take in this stretcher. Just need to take it 
up to the diving board and let go. That'll make them fly up into the air. It even reminded me of another secret at Club Brooks. Going up the stairs and into it, you'll just need to sit on the couch and now there'll be one in your inventory. Every time you take this one in and out of your hand, the texture will change into a random one. And yes, other players can sit down on it still. You can also go back to using the diving board to throw other players far into the air. For the next secret, we'll need to go over to the mall, then go upstairs and into the TV station. It's basically a place for you to record news broadcasts and stuff for TV. The one in here is using this moving camera right here. As you can see, it normally can only go on these rails left to right. But if we grab our little skateboard and just ride it against that camera, there's a point that we can knock it all the way off. It's almost there. We'll probably need to do it just a few more times then. All right, it looks like we're finally going somewhere. We got it out of there. So let's take it somewhere else. I want to take it out of the mall. So let's just kick it into the streets. Even got it back up. Oh, it fell down again. I gotta do something to get it back. Why doesn't this work? Please don't fall down. Are you kidding me? I finally did it. Now we can go from side to side even if we're out on the streets. There's right and left. Sadly, there's no other way to go with this thing. Still pretty cool. Now for this secret, we'll need a Brookhaven private server. Whenever you're on one, you'll have these options right here. As you click it, you'll have a whole panel of private server controls. First thing you'll do is make it 6 p.m. Then you'll click on the darkness button and it'll make our Brookhaven a lot scarier. Next, you need to click on the orange sky. With that, Brookhaven is gonna become the real Blood Moon Brookhaven. Sadly, you're only able to do this on a private server, so you'd need to use 100 Robux for that. Right now, we're gonna need a vehicle. I got this purple one, but it can be any other. Just park it right here in front of the motel's first room. Then you need to go into the airport and straight into the plane. Inside, you'll need to click this button. And as you do that, just teleport to that same motel room. Perfect! Actually, it didn't work at all, so let me try again. Now I'm fast about it. Look at that. We're even inside the car already. If you did it all perfectly, your car will be fully lowered now. Ain't that crazy? The wheels are gonna go a bit into it, giving a lot of style to it. It also changes a bit how you move around with it. Every time I touch the left and right buttons, it goes straight away. Another one we have is actually quite recent since it's in the newly added hacker house. We just need to go down into one of these setups and grab this secret blue card. With it, you can go into the bathroom and scan it to go into this room. You can even use a ladder right here to go into a secret passage, which is a completely different room and a lot scarier than the others. There's also a fake wall that takes you beneath the garage we have. And as you go into this wall, you'll find another even more secret room, even if there's really nothing inside here. But for some reason, they still have a security camera just for this, like it actually had a use. But that's gonna have to be it for today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to vote for me at iBest. I welcome all of your support. Your vote is really important. See you later.